Hi there, YouTube. Mark the here. Yes, and this is my Spectrum Next setup. I actually have a question about joysticks. Um, I personally am quite a fan of joystick types like these. This is actually an, uh, a, uh, a new model. It's a, it's an arcade stick. Oh, and I can't can't see the name. It's a retro radionics or something like that. The thing is that the uh, the nine pin connector is rather loose, so it actually uh, gets pulled out of the uh, system quite easily. And I'm also quite a fan of the uh, Genesis Mega Drive, and I got this, which is the wireless version, and it has a plug, a wireless plug that actually works with the joystick connector because it also works with the old fashioned uh, Genesis Mega Drive version one and two, because there's this five volt pin on it that it actually takes its uh, its nutrition from its electricity. I, I also got the, um, uh, the wired version, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm wondering what the preferable joystick is. I, back in the day, I actually used a lot joysticks like this. And this actually is let down by the fact that the connector is not standard, not not as standard as uh, as much. Because actually, in other systems, this retro retro Ionics joystick also has some issues. Now, in the Netherlands, we used Competition Pros, Quick Shots, and Suzu Arcade sticks. Uh, are there any other suggestions for um, joysticks? that uh, you uh, you can use or work well other than the ones that i show here on the zx spectrum uh, i am also quite familiar with uh, playing spectrum games with uh, the keyboard but that's actually the rubber keys and for some reason i find the excellent uh, spectrum next keyboard like my uh, spectrum 3 plus uh and uh amstrad uh variant or two plus uh, the toast track uh i found those key i find those keyboards actually uh, very good for typing on not as much as uh for playing games so uh so yeah i, I was wondering if people uh, actually uh have some suggestions or preferences or you know anything that you want to share about it uh, I've actually been uh, trying to uh, program some, some stuff and uh, getting some, some interesting bits on screen. <laughs> of course, uh, I'm also watching demos, playing games. Um, yeah, it really, gives, it really gives the spectrum feel with an uh, IDE interface. You know, it, 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 it's, it's actually quite, quite, uh, quite nice. And I do have, I did, I did actually, I, I ordered the... Uh, uh, the uh, enhanced, you know, the enhanced version, not not the accelerated version, but I do have a Raspberry Pi Zero uh, with one of these headers, and uh, I wondered if people uh, uh, have already been brave enough to open up their Kickstarter too and inserted the uh, the Raspberry Pi with <laughs> a properly formatted and flashed uh, OS Mini OS for the for the Raspberry Pi itself. Uh, before you close up the case. Uh, if anyone has actually uh, done so, and apart from these uh, compressed uh, tape formats, is there actually another benefit that you would actually want to or need to use a Raspberry Pi Zero for? Um, I have the option, but that would mean that I have to solder the, uh, the header I think I, 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 I must take a look. I think I have the header and the Raspberry Pi. It's in, in a, <laughs> I had it for, I had it for a long time because I've been waiting for the Kickstarter 2 Pi to arrive. I contemplated on uh, getting the accelerated version, but I, uh, I didn't dare actually change the, uh, the slot that I got. You know, I, I had, I'm not sure, 640 or something like that. And I was afraid of, of actually uh, jinxing the whole order process. So I figured let's, uh, let's install uh, the Raspberry Pi myself. But I'm actually wondering whether or not it's worth it 
Uh, I could also put the pie to some other use. And are there any real benefits that you would actually say, well, you know, get the pie because you can't live without it. But I, I have yet to find it because um, I, yeah, perhaps these fast TZX files, I believe. Um, but yeah, I mean, the top files, Z80 files, you know, a lot of these files just work fine. Uh, and yeah, I've, I've yet to find uh, some more information about, yeah, whether or not uh, uh, a Raspberry Pi is, is actually needed. Well, it's never needed. And there's always this thing about, you know, jacking up your, your spectrum to the max, you know, but uh, I'm actually quite, quite happy and I'm not so keen on opening it up, but uh, if there's any real benefits that are important to me, I'm actually seriously considering, but uh, yeah, and I must say I'm just so over the moon with this system and especially the uh, newer games as well. I've, I've actually bought, got so, uh, quite a fair few of the newer games and they just are awesome. And I hope uh, there will be a, a lot more coming out. And uh, yeah, I also wondered uh, if, if it is possible to actually uh, boot and load um, demos and, and games for from this uh, these other enhanced uh, spectrums you have uh, you have the what is it the pentagon and stuff uh, there's pentagon timings and and there's also other um, spectrum uh, alterations enhancements uh, uh, the ula plus i believe that works uh, but there's this uh, eastern european spectrum that's almost like a spectrum next you can actually do it uh run it tsi or something da, da, da. i'm not sure but um you can you can actually uh use it use a core for that on the on the mister <laughs> and and for and for shit and giggles i've actually um uh tested out whether or not my uh the games and the things that i use on on the next actually work on that mister the core of course that core is far less advanced and a bit older it doesn't use the latest firmware uh but yeah it's it's just so fun and it's also very fun to just check out that manual and just uh go over the the program samples typing in and seeing how it works uh checking out the listings of basic games that actually have have a loadable listing uh yeah basic is just something that i grew up with and uh <laughs> I, I i had a commodore 64 myself so that basic was just very basic and you had to use a lot of pokes and peaks and of course on the spectrum you had to as well you know to stop scroll to sc stop the scroll message um to change character sets and stuff you know digging into the hardware was actually something that regardless of um, regardless of, of what you um, uh, or what you actually were trying to do, you need you know you needed uh, you needed to peek and poke <laughs> things. But uh, yeah, I'm quite curious after uh, what you guys think are the best joysticks. Uh, you have any suggestions? Uh, and also uh, the Raspberry Pi Zero. Uh, to to make it an accelerated version. I mean, you can open up the case. You 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 loosen up two ribbon cables. Uh, you 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 uh, solder the header the correct way to the uh, to the Raspberry Pi, and you stick it in. Insert the flash memory card, and basically, that's supposed to be it. You, you're able to uh, uh, load TZX tapes or something like that. But yeah, I'm curious. I'm curious. I'm curious after these things. So hopefully you'll be able to make a response or, or just type a response below. And if you like this video, leave a like. And if you want to subscribe, please do. And if you don't, well, you know, <laughs> that's fine as well. Uh, so uh, yeah, and uh, I wish everybody that celebrates it a happy Hanukkah or Christmas or just, you know, a couple of days off. If you're not Christian, which is, you know, uh, fine uh and new years you know and uh it's gonna be a, a, a cool year hopefully 2024 ta-ta mm -hmm.